Just two weeks before Christmas, a Prince George's County family is displaced after a fire destroyed their home. Everything inside the house on Castle Drive was destroyed, except for a few things family members are now holding close tonight. Horace Holmes is live from Upper Marlboro with that story. Horace? Gordon, this home is all boarded up now, but this fire completely gutted this building. And the three people who were inside, all they got out with was what was on their backs. In the rubble, all the charred remains, Candace Wedge uncovers precious treasures from the house she grew up in. Me and my mom. Family photos of happier times, amongst them a picture of her deceased grandfather and now 86-year-old grandmother. This is the vibe. This is the vibe this. Untouched by the fire that raced through the house they bought nearly 50 years ago, the home the 86-year-old woman barely escaped in the wee hours of the morning. I just saw like flames just coming out the back of the house. Harriet Jackson and her son Martin and 23-year-old grandson Lamont escaped as fire raced through their home. They scurried to Kevin Smith's house. He's known the Jacksons his entire life. Yeah, there was nothing we could do. The flames just got out of control. And now, two weeks before Christmas, the Jacksons... The whole house is gone. ...have only what they had on their backs when they outraced the flames this morning. Oh, where the chair is. The oh. Christmas tree. The grandkids coming in the door to see the gifts. The great grandkids. A total loss. All up in smoke, quietly carried away by a noonday breeze. But for Candace Wedge and her family, none of that matters much. To them, this holiday season of apparent loss will be more rich, meaningful than any they've shared before. It's the holiday season, but we have each other. Mrs. Jackson, her son and grandson are staying with family through the holidays. They need pretty much everything at this point. Fire investigators still trying to figure out what started this blaze. Reporting live in Upper Marlboro, Horace Holmes, ABC 7 News.